Hello friends, this is Smita and our today's tally prime topic is Bank Reconciliation Step. We can say BRS in tally. What, what do you mean by bank reconciliation? How to do it? What are the important, what is the importance of BRS in tally? This all things we will discuss in this topic. So first of all, I would like to check my bank statement, bank account, which we have maintained in our tally. So I'm opening my tally. This is the company. So we have this Royal Garments Private Limited company open in our tally. So suppose if we want to check all the bank related transactions that we have entered where we will find them out go to display more reports accounts book cash or bank book and here we will find this bank account so we have this bank account access bank and the closing balance as on 31st may 2023 is 47500 if you press enter Again, enter all the transactions are in the month of May. Enter. So these are the different transactions we which we have entered. On 1st of May 2023, we received 15,000 as interest. On 1st of May, we paid advertisement expenses of 1 lakh. Go down rent paid 25,000. Then rent account, rent paid, office rent paid 5,000. We received cash in the bank is 10,000. Then Tata Consultancy received, give, gave us 22,500. Then we paid to XYZ Limited 20,000. So this way, the opening balance of the bank was 150,000. And after entering all these transactions, the balance as per our bank book that we have recorded in the tally is 47,500. Okay. Now, now we'll discuss about the bank statement and the bank book that we have maintained. So suppose this is the bank statement that I received from my bank. This is the bank statement of Axis Bank account statement for the month of May. That is starting from 1st of May to 31st of May 23. This is my account number. Name of the account is Royal Governments Private Limited. And in this passbook, we have different columns, date, particulars, check number, withdrawal, deposit, and balance. The opening balance, 150000 which is as per our bank book. See, we have the opening balance of 150000 The bank also has the same opening balance. Okay. After some deposits and withdrawals, the, at the end, we find the balance as per the bank statement is 98,765. Whereas in our account, in our tally, the balance is showing 47,500. So there is a difference between both the balances. So these differences are due to several reasons. And those reasons we will discuss how to correct these differences, that is, how to reconcile them, this we will discuss in the today's session. So our session is bank reconciliation statement. Why we need bank reconciliation? For checking the bank related transactions recorded properly in bank book or not. As we have seen our bank book that we have entered, that those transactions, those we have entered in our bank tally account that we will cross tally with the bank statement provided by the bank. So the first necessary, first necessity of bank reconciliation is for checking the bank related transactions. Those are recorded properly by us in our tally or any other ERP package. It helps knowing the actual balance in the bank. As we have seen, we have this balance 
on 31st May 2023 in the bank. So we come to know what is the actual balance available in the bank account. Next, to match bank statement provided by the bank with the bank book maintained by the company. The bank book, that is the tally bank book that we have maintained, we match it with the bank statement provided by the bank by using bank reconciliation. If we compare bank book or bank statement with the bank book that we have maintained in tally, we find the difference. As here also we have the balance as per the records we have maintained it is 47,500. But as per the balance bank statement, it is showing 98,000 in the bank. So there is a difference of balances. BRS is the tool. This is the right tool for identifying and correcting this difference. Identifying means why there is a difference that we will identify. And after identifying, we can correct the difference. Correct whatever the wrongs or whatever the difference is there, we can correct it by using BRS. So it helps in incorporating certain expenses or income debited or credited by the bank. So some expenses debited or credited by the bank can be incorporated by using bank statement, bank reconciliation statement. So why there is a difference between the balances of both the accounts? As we have seen, as per bank statement, the balance is 98,000 and as per the tally bank book, which we have maintained the balance is 47,500. Why there is a difference? So there are number of reasons that cause difference in closing balances. The main reason for difference between the cash book and the passbook is the timing when the transactions are recorded. The dates are very important. Errors in recording the transaction, bank charges may also cause discrepancies. So here are the few reasons which we will discuss in detail for the differences, those cause differences between the passbook and cash book balances. So first is check issued but not presented for the payment in the bank. What do you mean by this? When check is issued to the creditor by us, by the firm, it is immediately recorded on the credit side of the bank column of the cash book. It means we record it to the credit part of the bank column. But bank will deposit, will debit this firm's account only when the check is actually presented to the bank for the payment. When that check actually comes in the bank that day, when that when it actually goes, when that amount actually gets debited from the account that day, it will reflect in the bank statement. Generally, there is a gap of some days between the check uh, issued and its presentation presented for the payment in the bank. So this is the main first reason for difference in both the balances. Next is check deposited into the bank, but not yet credited by the bank. This is the same reason when firm receives a check. We receive the check from our party and then we immediately deposit into the bank. We go to the bank and deposit it into the bank and immediately we make the entry also. We pass the entry in our ERP system and we debit the bank column of our cash bank. But bank will credit the firm's account only when it is actually collected the payment of this check for from the other bank. When actually the amount gets credited to the bank, that day the bank statement will reflect that amount. Again, there will be a gap of some days between the deposition of the check into the bank and getting credited into the bank. So this is yet another reason that may cause difference in closing balances of passbook and bank book. Dishonor of check. Check gets dishonor. When check received from the party, 
and deposited with the bank we record immediately in our bank book but if that check gets dishonor the uh, up to the amount that the amount of check it will get debited in our bank statement but as we don't know it gets dishonor we do not pass the opposite entry reversal entry and that's why there is a difference of balances interest or dividend allowed dividend collected by the bank or it is allowed by the bank see uh, different interest or dividends collected by the bank and these entries will reflect in the bank bank statement only as we don't know when it gets debited we do not pass the entry in our books of account so in the bank statement it gets debited but in our books of account it doesn't get debited so obvious there will be a difference between the two then interest and dividend collected by the bank if we collect the if the any amount of interest get credited to our account dividend collect uh, coll uh, get credited to our account that we will come to know only after checking the bank statement so till that time we do not pass the entry obvious this reason results in difference of balances then direct payment by the direct payment or standing instruction by the firm to the bank the bank account holder that is our firm can instruct the bank to make certain payments such as insurance premium rent of the shop electricity mobile bills loans installments etc on the behalf of the bank holder account holder the bank will deposit uh, debit the party's account that is our account on making the payment but we can debit our account only after checking the bank statement so this is yet another reason that cause difference in closing balance direct deposit or online transfer by the party today in today's uh, world we come across the online transfer of money paytm through paytm google pay and several other options are available there are times that party the debtor of our company might directly deposit amount or online transfer the money to our account we will come to know only after checking the bank statement and can uh, enter the transaction only after checking the bank statement till there will be a difference then bank charges or commission charged by the bank bank provides several services to the customer and for this commission or charges are leveled such charges commissions are debited in the bank passbook but no entry is recorded in the bank book unless we come to know that such amount is getting debited from our bank account this will cause the difference between the two balances so all these are the reasons that can cause difference in the closing balances of bank book and passbook so let's start reconciling the both the balances brs in tally in tally it is very simple to do reconciliation of bank statement it can be done very quickly what we have to do only enter the debts appearing in the bank statement to that particular transaction let's start prs in tally how to do gateway of tally go to banking part and press reconciliation so let's start with bank reconciliation so we are in gateway of tally now go to banking part this is in this utility we will press banking enter now go to brs bank reconciliation statement select the bank enter see this is the bank reconciliation statement screen which is available 
Now we find there are different columns. The first column is date column. The next column is particulars that gives the transactions layer accounts which we have used. Then if uh, we have given the name of the person who received the check or paid the check, that name will get reflected. Voucher type, what type of voucher it is, whether it is the receipt or payment from our point of view. Then how we paid or received that amount through check or DD or online transfer, whatever it will, it is listed in this column. Then next is instrument number. All the check numbers, whether you have received the check or you have paid money through check. All those check numbers are available over here. Check date, that is instrument date is available in this column. The next column bank date is empty. Here we need to fill up the dates. Next column is debit and credit, debit part and credit part. If we receive the amount, it gets debited. And if we pay the amount, it gets credited. So these are the different columns. And here we find balance as per the company book is 47,500. Amounts not reflected in bank, 47,500 to the debit part and credit part, we have 1,50,000. Balance as per bank, 1,50,000. So as per company book, the balance is 47,500. And balance as per one lakh, bank is 1,50,000. We need to change this balance to the balance which is available as a bank statement. So we need this 98,765 to appear our bank reconciliation statement. So how to do it? We have open bank reconciliation. Select the bank bank from the list we have selected. Press enter. Now provide the dates in the bank date column for every transaction available in the bank statement. So what we have to do for every transaction we need to enter a bank date which is available in the bank statement. So in this bank statement for every transaction we have the dates. These dates we will put in the bank date column. One by one, we will enter the dates. First is interest received. Interest received, check number so and so, 7007, 4 times 0 and 5. So our instrument date is 1 first of May. Amount is 15,000. We will check this where it is available. So here it is. The check number is this and amount is this. So this one is available. I will just put tick mark over here and the date of this available, the date for this transaction, which is available in bank statement is 2nd of May. So the amount which we have received, we have debited on 1st of May, but in bank, it was credited on 2nd May. So I will write the date 2-5-2023, enter. After entering this date, just check the bank balance what changed over here. So for every date, after entering every date for every transaction, you will come to know the balance as per bank gets changed. So one by one we will follow. The next is advertisement expenses we paid through check number 201001 on 1st of May. We will check the date which is appearing in the bank statement for this transaction. So check number is 201001 20, of our lakh rupees. So this is 201001 of 1 lakh rupee. The date is 2nd May. So I will put 2nd May also over here. Enter. The next is go down rent, which we have paid through this check 21002 amounting 25 rupees, 25,000. So 25,000 go down rent. Yes, this is the transaction check number is available. So I'm just ticking out as we have checked the same transaction in the which is available in our bank book. So 
date is 1st of May. So it was cleared on the same date. So I will put the date available in bank statement. Next, Rain paid 5,000 rupees through check number 21003. Do we have this? No, only two withdrawals are available. So we don't have that transaction in bank statement. We'll leave this. Then next, cash deposited in the bank, 10,000. So we don't have the check number. As we have deposited cash, there is no check number available. Just we will cross tally this check, uh, cash deposit in bank on the same date. As we have deposited cash in on 1st of May, it will get reflected on the same date in bank statement. So this cash deposit on 1st of May. So I will just put tick mark here and the date is 15. So I will type 15-2023 in the bank date column. Then Tata Consultancy paid us money. So we received 22,500 and the check number was 345676. Do we have this? Yes, this is the check number 345676. We received the money on 31st May 2023. So the same date we will enter 31st 2023 enter then xyz limited payment we paid 20000 to xyz limited check number was 21004 do we have this no we don't have the payment okay okay so we have checked our bank state bank account bank book with bank statement so these two Transactions are not available in the bank statement. We will leave it. Okay. Press enter key. Check. Balance as per the bank is now 72,500. I will just press enter. Accept it. Yes. Okay. Now, see here we find two boxes are not ticked. It is unticked for this receipts and this one also. So we need to enter this transaction as we find those transactions available in the bank statement, but not entered in the books of accounts. We will enter them in our tally. So first is e-transfer by Aditya Software 24,000. Aditya Software have transferred some money to us. So we will enter this transaction 24,000 as it is online transfer. There is no check number available. So on 2nd May, we received money from Aditya Software. So Aditya Software is our data. And uh, it means we received money from the data. So I will pass the entry voucher. As we received the money, our voucher will be receipt voucher. On which date we received this money? On 2nd May. So I will put the date 2nd May 2023. Enter. The entry will be bank account debit to Aditya software. So or to the credit part, first it is asking for credit side. We will create Aditya software as a data. So how to create ledger at voucher creation? Just press Alt plus C from your keyboard. We are in the ledger creation. So Aditya software is our sundry data. Data we will have this group as sundry data. Enter. Rest of the things we will keep it as it is. We don't want the cost center to be applicable over here. So how much amount we have received? 24,000. 24,000. This might be advanced. So I am selecting it as advanced. Advanced one. And debit will go to Axis Bank. Enter. And this is online transfer, e transfer. So select the transaction type also. Enter. Instrument number is not available. Online transfer, it was being advanced received from data. Enter. Okay. This entry is over. Now, interest. 
as it is deposit we received interest from the security so this entry needs to be entered in our tally so on 30 plus 5 interest received 2400 so let's start again receive entry will be on 31st may debit will go to bank account and credit will go to interest received so i will check whether i have the ledger yes i have received the interest 2400 just a minute i need to pass center to be disabled for this to bank Yes, and this is others. We will select it others. So there is no amount instrument number, bank name is not available. Interest received into the bank. Next, these two and part deposit parts are over. Now this bank charges, bank charge interest, bank charge some SMS charges, uh, charge for SMS credit cards, everything. So all these bank charges needs to be entered in our tag. So on 31st 5, bank charge 135 as bank charges. So it is payment. So click F5, it is payment voucher. Entry will be bank charges account debit to bank. So if I don't have that ledger, I will create by using Alt C, bank charges. It is indirect expense. Enter. Cost center not applicable. Rest of the things as it is. How much amount charged by the bank? 135, 135. Enter. Credit will go to Axis Bank. Enter, enter. Others or just leave it as it is being bank charges debited enter enter so we have entered the three transactions which were not there in our bank once again we will open the bank reconciliation go to banking bank reconciliation select the bank now those entries for those entries we put bank date are not available now in this list for those entries we have not given the dates are now available for reconciliation so once again we don't have date for this first transaction we don't have date for this transaction it means it is not available in the bank statement so for this are just a minute. Uh, for this 24,000 on second five, the deposits are available in bank statement. So I will put date for this transaction as 2523. Enter. Then for this check, we don't have the transaction in bank statement. Interest received. Yes, we have this date. For this, we have the date is 31st five. We received the date. Just I will check the same check mark. I will put the check mark. Yes, the date is 31st 5. I will enter 31st 5 in this bank date column. Enter and bank charges. Again, this bank charges on 31st 5. So here also 31st 5. See, after entering these three dates, Check the balance as per bank. It is showing 98765. And if you cross tally with the bank statement, it is again the same 98765. It means we have tallied the bank reconciliation statement. This is how we can tally the bank reconciliation statement. Just put the dates in the bank date column, which is available in the bank statement for the related transaction. And for extra transaction, those are available in the bank statement pass the entries in the tally and once again open the BRS bank reconciliation, put the date for those extra added transactions and check the balance with bank statement. Check whether it gets tallied or not. 
if it is if gets tallied it means we have done with the brs for this month end so just press enter yes it will ask for your acceptance yes save this yes so this is how we can do brs in tally see it is really very simple very quick it is and what we have to do only enter the dates appearing in the bank statement only this much you have to do and those entries not uh, are not available in the those entries excess entries those are available in the bank statement but not in the bank book which we passed needs to be entered enter them again open the bank's reconciliation put the dates for such entries and check whether it gets tallied or not this is how we can do brs in tally so it is really very easy just practice the brs and you will find it can be done very easily thank you